Hello friends, Frank Martinez, your host of One More Taco TV. I'm on my way to get some tacos. Gonna meet my friend Ruben, the other taco fiend. Let's see what we find. Hey Ruben. <laughs> Are you gonna get some tacos or what? No one gets hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh ho ho, here we go. Tacos and vaquero. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. She's looking good. You're gonna get some of the tacos you've been looking for. <laughs> this is amazing. Dude. Oh, that looks good every time I have it. <laughs> I'm already impressed and I haven't even tasted it yet. <laughs> what a presentation, huh? So what do you think, Ruben? Is this going to be worth the wait? I hope so. Man, the way they're building this up is just like pure anticipation here. This is crazy. Good, Ruben. Look at this. Suadero Asylum. Nice. Anticipation. Oh, just look at that. Ooh, the tortillas look like they're fresh today. Not handmade, but they're nice and tender. Little old dried up tortillas. This carne asada taco that I ordered has some guacamole on it too. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Now what kind of tacos are you having there, Ruben? Batsuadero and... I think it's alabada, I forgot. Either okay. Noel or Asada. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this carne asada taco now. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is an amazing taco. I like the, exactly the way they grilled it. Nice and crunchy meat on the outside so it's seared perfectly. It's got salsa in it already with guacamole. But not that guacamole that they mix with mayonnaise or anything like that. This stuff is good. Tortillas are excellent. You definitely have to eat this over a plate or not it'll end up on the floor. But they pack it all full. And of course, this taco truck is right out in front of Three Punk Hills right here on 3rd Avenue in Chula Vista. So, here's to you friends. Cheers. You ready for this? Here we go. Here I am talking to Ramiro Morales about what constitutes a good taco. So first we start with a tortilla. It must be fresh. Second of all, it's the meat, the filling. How well cooked it is. I prefer to have my meat a little bit crunchy, seared on the outside and tender on the inside. He says he prefers to make the meat fresh, cook it fresh, exactly how the customer likes it. I like the salsa that's especially for adobada. I have another salsa for tacos de cabeza. I have another salsa for taco suadero. And then also a different salsa for tacos de asada. Now the difference between how I prepare the asada, instead of making it on the flat grill, I make it on the wood fire grill. I try to please the customer exactly how they want it, the best way they make it. That's how we become successful. The biggest challenges I have is I don't have enough employees. Right now there's so many people on unemployment. I need some extra help here, so put the word out. I need some extra workers so we can attend to our customers better. I'm wishing him great success. 
in this operation. And it's very clear they're doing a great job. Everybody's waiting in line and everybody that I spoke to in line says this is a place to go for tacos. But please, anybody you hear of who's looking for a job, I need somebody here to help us out. So we can attend to our customers better. You know, obviously here we can't hide anything from the public because we have the big window here. Everybody sees what we're doing here, so nothing's hidden. Again, this is Ramiro Morales. I wish him the best of luck. He's greeting people from Jalisco. Drop the beat. <laughs> well, here I am with my friend Ruben, who joined me here at uh, El Vaquero, El Vaquero. Uh, uh, food truck. <laughs> Straight from Jalisco, this is legit stuff, man. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I, I got the chance to interview the, the chef inside, the owner, and we went over what he caught, what in his opinion is how you should decide that a taco is good. And I'm glad that we agreed. Tortillas, number one. Oh, wow. Second of all, uh, of course, the stuffing, whatever you put in there, the kind of meat. And, uh, and the thing is, he makes it fresh to order. You know, there's some taco shops, you know, they're typical fast food they have it sitting on a steam table. And we spoke about that earlier, you know how the carne asada looks great because it's just been sitting on the steam table and all that. <clears throat> no, he makes it right there. They have a grill with uh, flames just licking the meat and, and it's just amazing how well they sear the food. Second of all is the quality of the ingredients you put in there, whether it's the salsa and also the uh, guacamole. Now, you had the adobada, and you had the, what else, the asudero? Suadero. Suadero. And what did you think about that? Suadero was bomb. It was <laughs> amazing. I loved it. Awesome. You know, I had the asada because I just wanted to take uh, one taco at a time. I'm definitely going to come back here again and try uh, make, make the suadero or the adobada as well. But that's it for tonight. <laughs> Thanks for joining me here on One More Taco TV. I'm your host, Frank Martinez, with my friend Ruben Lopez. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> and like, peace.